What's up guys? Welcome back to the Go Anfield channel. Jamie Carragher has provided insight into the dispute between Jurgen Klopp and Mohamed Salah on the touchline during Liverpool's recent match against West Ham. The Reds struggled to a 2-2 draw at the London Stadium, further complicating their position in the Premier League title race. While Jared Bowen initially put West Ham ahead with a header, Liverpool rallied after halftime, with Andy Robertson netting the equaliser before Cody Gakpo's fortuitous goal, which found its way in via three deflections off West Ham players. However, their comeback hopes were dashed when Bowen set up Michael Antonio, who headed past Allison to salvage a point for the Hammers. Amidst the chaos of that crucial moment, TV cameras captured a heated exchange between Klopp and Salah. Salah, who was benched for the second time in a week, was seen waiting to come on alongside Darwin Nunez and Joe Gomez when the disagreement unfolded. Nunez intervened to defuse the situation, guiding Salah away as tensions flared. When asked by TNT Sports about the row and if he could discuss what had been said, Klopp responded, No. We spoke already in the dressing room, for me that's done. But former Liverpool defender Carragher believes Salah might have been at fault. Quote tweeting a clip of the incident, Carragher wrote, The only reason a manager would be unhappy in this situation is the player took too long to be ready to come on. Speaking on TNT Sports coverage, Peter Crouch said, It didn't look good. I can't say exactly what they're saying. It didn't look good. I don't think it looks good for the club. Listen, Mo Salah is a player who starts the majority of games for Liverpool. He'll be fuming. He'll be fuming to be on the bench. Players like that who are expected to start are never happy, but no one likes to see this between a manager and a real key player. Ali McCoist added, Not good at all, particularly when you see Mo Salah coming back for another bite and one of his teammates has to intervene. It does not look good. That kind of stuff should be behind closed doors. Liverpool defender Stephen Warnock agreed on BBC Radio 5 Live, saying, It is not good to see at all. You have two people who are equally important to the football club. The connection between the two has to be of respect and respect how they have helped each other's careers. With Mo Salah being pushed out a little bit, he doesn't like that. It is a clash of egos. Salah's attempts to influence the game were largely ineffective. His potentially threatening cross towards Nunez was intercepted by Vladimir Kufal, and another attempt during a counterattack went astray. Although Harvey Elliott struck the crossbar, Liverpool's shooting was imprecise, as evidenced by their 28 shots resulting in only two goals, one of which came from a fortunate own goal. Thanks for watching. You will never walk alone.